From the very beginning, Thanksgiving has been complicated, geopolitically, morally complicated. Uh, the native people showed the colonists how to survive in this new place, and so the colonists threw a harvest feast of deer and fish and ducks and potatoes and corn and eels. Yay, Thanksgiving eels. And then things got ugly, more or less, for the next 300 years. Thanksgiving has always been complicated. This year in space, Commander Kevin Ford is celebrating the holiday as the only America out there. Commander Ford is preparing a wonderful meal for his Russian spacemates. They're having irradiated smoked turkey and thermostabilized yams and some NASA-issued cornbread dressing. You, if you're lucky, uh, you get to have Thanksgiving back here on Earth with friends and family, um, which is also complicated often. At some point, your giant uncle, any one of them, is going to settle his giant hands on your Thanksgiving table and say a two-word phrase that starts with fiscal and ends with cliff. Your uncle at Thanksgiving will say, we have to do something about that fiscal cliff, and really, we got to do something to fix our skyrocketing deficit, our national deficit that he will tell you has been going up and up and up like a rocket and spiraling out of control like a, something going out of control. And now Paul Ryan is just so right. And if Congress and President Obama do not do something to stop the skyrocketing deficit, to sop up the red ink, if they don't do it by New Year's or sometimes whenever the emergency is supposed to happen, uh, we will go flying off the fiscal cliff, and not like these guys who mean to do that, but more like cliffhanger cliff on The Price is Right, for whom going over the edge really is a dire mistake. Beware the fiscal cliff. You will hear this on Thanksgiving dinner, at the Thanksgiving dinner table. When, so, when someone inevitably brings up the fiscal cliff and how our skyrocketing deficit is a huge danger to us, do not crawl under the table. Do not give up on Thanksgiving. Help your giant uncle understand that what he is freaking out about is not true. It's easy. There are visual aids that might help. Look, first of all, the amount of money borrowed by the government has been going down, not up. It has been going down. Our own Steve Bennon made you this chart. Look, the, the, the red bar is the deficit in 09 when President Obama took office and inherited the big deficit from President Bush. Over the next three years, President Obama cut the deficit. He cut it by $200 billion just from last year to this year. So the deficit isn't growing. It's shrinking by a lot. Seriously, the folks at Investors Business Daily calculated this week that the deficit's now falling faster than at any time since the end of the Second World War. The deficit is falling so fast it actually might not be able to fall any faster without sending us back into recession. When President Obama started, the deficit equaled 10% of the whole economy. Now it equals just 7%. So go ahead, boggle your uncle's mind with this chart. The bars below zero represent years when the deficit grew. These bars above zero represent years when the deficit shrunk. We are here right now in the deficit shrunk portion of the chart. The point of the shrinkingest shrinking on the whole chart back to 1950. When somebody starts inevitably nattering about the fiscal cliff and the skyrocketing deficit, they don't know what they're talking about and they probably don't know it's wrong, but you can help with visual aids. We have posted both of those charts we just showed you on our blog, so you can have them loaded on your smartphone or your iPad to pass around the table when you need them. You can print them out on paper in case your uncle doesn't like looking at these newfangled screen things. Those charts are waiting for you now, mattoblog.com slash Thanksgiving. We are here for you. You can do this and then report back and let us know how it went. That does it for us tonight. Have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you on Monday.